summer day in 2010 and my quilts were suffering from the smell of wet dogs after many joyful trips to the beach, I decided to make a trip to the nearest laundromat in Bucksport, Maine, and take my two-year-old golden retriever, Ziva, with me. After I put the quilts into the washing machine, Ziva and I headed out for a stroll along the mile-long cobblestone walkway that runs parallel to the Penobscot River. The place was packed with tourists, all enjoying the beautiful summer day. As I was about to put Ziva's collar and leash on, she spotted a seagull on a nearby dock and must have thought it was her job to chase it off. At the same time, I saw a woman helping her child out of the car seat in a van. I watched Ziva and then looked back at the woman to see that she had a little boy and they were walking toward the dock. I don't know who spotted whom first, but Ziva saw that there was a kid to play with and started running toward them. The woman was terrified. She grabbed the child and picked him up. I told Ziva to stop and sit, and she dropped as if she'd been shot. <laughs> Ziva was a good girl and stayed where she was while I explained to the woman that Ziva loved kids and wouldn't hurt a fly. She told me that her five-year-old son was autistic and had never been around animals. She assured me that he would be traumatized by any contact with a dog. I personally couldn't believe that any child could make it five to five years without playing with a dog or a cat. But I assured the little boy, who didn't speak at all, that the dog was friendly and that I wouldn't let her come near him. Just as I was saying this, Ziva started crawling on her belly toward the boy. As she neared him, she rolled onto her back. I rubbed her belly, but she didn't want me. She was determined to get to the boy. The mother watched protectively. Her son wasn't afraid, but instead was waving his arms excitedly at Ziva. I noticed that the mother was speaking to him using sign language. I told her that Ziva knew sign language and could do tricks, as, uh, could do tricks such as sit, lie down, shake hands, and high five. The mom then signed, Ziva performed, and the little boy grew more and more excited. His hand started reaching out towards Ziva, and it seemed as if he wanted to touch her, so I had her turn away from him, and he touched the back of her head, pulling his hand away quickly, and then touching her again. Once he did this, he waved his arms all over the place. I then told the mom that Ziva would speak after being instructed with a hand signal, and suggested that perhaps her little boy could do it. The mom made the speak signal, and Ziva quietly barked. The boy jumped at first, and then became very excited. The mom did it again and said, speak to Ziva and she barked again. The mom did this four more times. I asked her if her son could try it. The mom showed the child the speak sign and after a few tries, he got Ziva to speak. What happened next was fantastic. The child, who hadn't uttered a word, made the speak sign and Ziva barked. Then the little boy spoke and said, speak, as clear as could be. The mom looked astonished and asked me, did Zach say that? She looked at me and then looked at the boy. Did Zach say that? She asked over and over again. I told her he did. Then the boy signed for Ziva to speak, and again he said, speak. At this point, the mom was nearly hysterical, and people were gathering to see if the dog had bitten the child. She said, no, but my son just spoke his first word. The next thing I knew, the mom had her cell phone out and was on the phone with her husband, who said he was about an hour away. I'd never seen a person as excited as this mom. She was trying to explain to him what had happened, but it was clearly wasn't registering with him. So she held the phone up near Zach and asked him to make the doggy speak. Ziva thought this was a great game to play, and she barked again. And that's when Zach said, speak. This time, his father heard it. I watched as the mom excitedly spoke to her husband, and then I looked down. Zach had his arms wrapped around Ziva's neck and was hugging her for all she was worth. When she got off the phone, the mom explained that Zach had been in speech therapy since he was 18 months old. Other than grunts, screams, and other sounds, he had never tried to say words. She said that experts had warned them that autistic children couldn't make emo emotional contact with animals. They also told her that Zach would hit could hit or hurt an animal, so they had kept Zach away from all animals. She then told me that as soon as she got home, they would go to a shelter and look for a golden retriever. <laughs> After they drove away, I told Ziva she was a good girl and took her to get a vanilla kitty cone at the ice cream shop. <laughs> as usual, 
usual, she was more interested in a squirrel in a nearby tree than in her comb. I nearly didn't go to wash those smelly quilts on that beautiful summer day. What happened was divine intervention, I guess. It made my day for sure. Ziva might be my dog, but she is a gift from God to us all. Nice. That's a